What do hair straighteners, kitchenware, and bed sheets have in common? There are examples of each on the marketplace that contain nanotechnology, tiny particles with antimicrobial properties that are increasingly being seen in consumer products. The problem with nanoparticles is that we don't fully understand what happens when they are released into the environment. At the Experimental Lakes area, researchers are interested in one of the most commonplace nanotechnologies today, nanosilver. It's being added to a wide range of products, from socks to washing machines, and cutting boards to baby products. It's even been added to stuffed animals. The concern is that this exponential growth in the use of nanosilver has come without full understanding of what happens when it gets into our environment. Doctors Chris Metcalf and Maggie Zinopoulos are researchers on a multi-year project at the ELA to better understand the effects of nanosilver. We are just beginning to determine the potential for the effects of nanosilver in the environment. They are being released and those releases are going to increase in the future and so we're concerned about what effects might occur if uh, organisms in the aquatic environment or the terrestrial environment are exposed to these types of substances. Nanosilver is used because of its germ killing powers. For instance, it is used to control odor in clothing. Through various pathways, such as wastewater discharges, Nanosilver from such products can eventually end up in the environment. The research at the ELA would look at the impacts of nanosilver on ecosystems. What happens when it gets into the food chain? And how does it affect plants and animals? The ELA is a good place to do this research because we can manipulate the entire lake. We can really study the factor that we're manipulating because the ELA contains lakes which are isolated from any other human effects. And so, in our particular case, we'll be able to study and understand the effects of only nanosilver because that is the only variable that's going to change. And we can do that at the whole ecosystem scale. It's really the only place in the world where we can do that. For a number of years, it was unclear if the nanosilver experiment would even happen, as the future of the ELA was in question. In April 2014, the International Institute for Sustainable Development took over management of the ELA which meant that the researchers are now able to go ahead with the whole lake experiment. Well, we're very pleased that the International Institute for Sustainable Development, IISD, will be taking over the management of the experimental lakes area. They have a very high reputation and, and a profile for managing projects, and so we very much look forward to working with the IISD. To learn more or to donate, visit our website at iisd.org ela.